Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's time for my official apartment tour of my new apartment in Hong Kong. So if you guys watched my video here, I did a whole lot of apartment tour hunting. I was previously in this apartment, in a service apartment, but I finally found um, a permanent home in Hong Kong and I'm so excited to share it with you guys. I've been decorating, well, I guess not decorating, furnishing um, and getting things together and I think it's finally ready um, for show and tell. So without further ado, let's start. Okay, so entering in, we have a straight open plan living room to open island kitchen, which is super unique for Hong Kong in like this size apartment. Um, it's not very common to find. Usually they're like a little awkward and like in the corner. So this is one of the things that absolutely sold it for me. I love, love, love the island. And I think it's just like such open space. And I think it's really great for this size. So my apartment is 650 square feet. Um, it is an older building, so it's not super modern and new. And I find that with older buildings in Hong Kong, you can get so much more space that isn't as awkward um, at a really reasonable price. The new apartments tend to be, um, I feel like they're trying to put so much in a small space. Um, and usually the space is around like 400 square feet to 450 max. And it's just a bit cramped. So when we first enter, we have um, a whole lot of cupboard doors, so storage, um, and a full length mirror, which came with the apartment. So I love storage. I think it's super necessary in Hong Kong. So that's one of the other things that really sold me on this apartment. Okay, so once we come in, let's check out the kitchen first. So you've got these three island stools that came with the apartment um, and then this island is all the way walk around so it doesn't jut into the corner. You've got a whole lot of storage and cupboard space here, washing machine, um, a great spacious sink, uh, electric stove, well you know how I feel about electric stoves, gas for the win but um, yep it's I guess safer and then a microwave oven here. I also love like they've used all the space for storage as you can see here I have like other things in here so um, I love the kitchen it's a huge deal for me to have a nice kitchen it's been um, a bit of a struggle in the service apartment with such small space and usually it's really hard in Hong Kong to get like a really decent sized kitchen so I think we're super lucky to have found this place with this size kitchen um, also by the kitchen we have windows that open up um, and you can get fresh air, let the smelly air go out. This comes out from the uh, kitchen. So you walk this way, have a little bit of storage in this corner. Once again, great use of space. Um, and a little, this is currently our only artwork in the house. Then panning this way, we have the living room space. Um, and I need to show you guys a few of the cool things that we bought here. Okay, so for this couch, it's a fold-out couch. You can also sleep on it. It came with speakers installed in it. Really cool. We got it from Taobao. It was like one of our first purchases of Taobao. And very glad that it worked out. So let me show you. So they've got these really cool like side benches here. So yes, the couch is super spacious and um, you can sleep on it, which is really great. It came with um, yeah, this as a base. We got this as extra. Everything has storage in it, which is super important for Hong Kong. So that has storage. Here has storage. Ooh. Here has storage. So I will link everything below for all the different furniture pieces that I have. I also got this cool other table that's like a fold out. That bad boy over there, I'll let you see how it works now. This is the fold out table. It can sit up to six people. Actually in these cupboards, it came with chairs that fit in. Um, but we personally didn't really like the chairs so we returned them so at the moment we're looking for new chairs for this table but at the moment I kind of just sit on the couch and eat um, and it works 
So the bedroom is just through this doorway. Um, we are just getting this door fixed at the moment. It kind of usually slides in and out, but it's having a bit of difficulty. But as we go into the bedroom, it's quite a decent space. Um, so, I mean, we fit a king size bed in here. Funny story, um, we actually initially had a queen size, but we switched to a king size. We got the king size mattress on Ikea and also the bed frame for free. So make sure when you're looking to furnish your place, you look at Facebook Marketplace for like certain things because you really can get a bargain and a deal on Carousel or Facebook Marketplace. I think Facebook Marketplace personally is a lot better um, because there's like a higher volume of people going in and out and you can also sell things on there really easily. But anyway, back to the bedroom. So yes, this is our bed. Um, and in here we have a little wardrobe. Uh, little meaning my wardrobe so yeah you can walk into my wardrobe so I'm gonna call it a walk-in wardrobe <laughs> now I wanted to show you guys this awesome pillow I've been using from Vesta this pillow I ordered it online it took two days to come um, so it was super fast two days shipping to Hong Kong um, and it came in this super cute box and it was super easy to just unbox and then um, use and put into my my pillowcases um, and this pillow so honestly I feel like you don't really realize how important a pillow is until you become an adult and you're like oh sleep is so important because I have to survive anyway so this pillow is um, dual layered, so each side, you can sleep on either side, um, and it's memory foam, and I find it really comfortable. I usually sleep on my side, and so I find it super comfortable like this, but sometimes I also fall asleep on my back, and this way as well, it's super comfortable. It's like a not too firm, a little bit soft um, and absorbent, which is what I'm all about. It also comes with this, um, not this, not this pillowcase. It also um, comes like this, so if you see here, um, it actually, this outer layer, it's a cooling, cooling layer. So when you lie on it even like this, it's so nice and cool. And in the heat in Hong Kong, it's perfect. And when I sleep, I get pretty hot. Like even right now, I feel quite hot. Um, you can also zip off this outer layer uh, and you can wash this. Obviously don't wash this, it's the memory foam pillow. So, you guys, I have a special offer for you all. So it's $150 usually, well $149 USD usually um, online. But if you use my code, you can get a discount. It's a surprise discount, so make sure you use my code. It's a link in description and you can get a discount for Christmas time. You're welcome. Anyway, let's go check out the bathroom. All right, so the bathroom is just beyond the kitchen. So you go this way and then you hook it right and you've got the bathroom. Um, one of the things I really like is the bathroom has some really cute lighting, like, ooh, lighting underneath the cupboard. Beautiful big mirror, which is great for my Mary selfies. If you follow me on Instagram, which you should, you know I like a Mary selfie. And then you have the shower, which is quite large. I really like love the shower. Toilet, and yeah. I mean, a bathroom's a bathroom, my friends, but yeah. Cozy, good water pressure. What more could you want? The last thing is just down the hallway, we have they called this a second bedroom. This is what they marketed it to us as, but really, it's a storage room. Because um, honestly, I mean, my parents and my single bed are not going to be fitting in here. So, yeah, we in here have lots of extra shit, and yeah, this is where it lives. Okay, so that is the apartment tour for my new place, which I hope will be my home for the next few years in Hong Kong. I don't intend on moving anytime soon because moving in Hong Kong is very stressful. Moving in general is very stressful. But I absolutely love my apartment. I'm so happy that I finally be able to show you guys. My next little things is waiting for our stuff from Myanmar to arrive and then we'll be putting up our Myanmar artworks on the walls. So I will do a little update maybe um, just by photos of showing you what my new artwork looks like that I got from Myanmar. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and you had an insight to my apartment here. Obviously this is like based on my preferences and my living standards, so um, yeah. Thank you guys for watching and don't forget to watch my other videos. Catch you soon, bye.